And back here at home, the new abortion law in Texas, the strictest in the nation, was at the center of arguments today before the U.S. Supreme Court. Tonight, it's unclear whether the court will issue an order to block that law, which has been in effect for two months now. Here's CBS's Jan Crawford. Outside the Supreme Court, protesters made clear the fight. Abortion is health care. Over the Texas law that bans abortions after about six weeks, a law that justices called unprecedented and specifically designed to get around Roe versus Wade. The actual provisions in this law have prevented every woman in Texas from exercising a constitutional right as declared by this court. After three hours of arguments, it was evident liberal and conservative justices didn't like what Texas was up to. There's a loophole that's been exploited here uh, or used here. The loophole is in how Texas wrote the law to try to keep it out of federal courts, which would block it. Instead of state officials enforcing the law, it leaves that to private citizens who can go to state court and sue anyone who helps perform an abortion, with fines starting at $10,000. Bhavik Kumar is a doctor at Planned Parenthood in Houston. I would be surprised if anybody is seeing more than 10 to 20 percent of the patients that they usually see. That's been my experience. Um, it has been a very dramatic reduction. But the case goes well beyond abortion rights. The justices were concerned the Texas law could be a model for states to restrict other constitutional rights. And it could be free speech rights. It could be free exercise of religion rights. It could be Second Amendment rights. If this position is accepted here. Now, the court is not reconsidering Roe versus Wade in this case, but one month from today, it'll take up a different case that's asking the justices to overturn Roe and allow Mississippi's 15 week ban on abortion. It's not clear if we'll have a decision in this Texas case by then. Nora? Jan Crawford at the Supreme Court. Thank you, Jan.